Hello everybody, my name is Rüdiger Heidelweicht, I'm head of the Department Training and International Cooperation DWA, the German Association for Water Waste, Water Waste. I would like to explain you this poster. We created this poster 25 years ago and I was one of them who did that. So I was, I know what we did over there, what we printed over there. Okay, let's start with DWA headquarter. It's pretty much looked like that, like this. We have a red building and it's exactly that what we do. We have the European Water Association here as well and also our private company. And you see there's a soakaway because also in DWA the rainwater of the roof goes into a soakaway. And then from the soakaway it goes into the groundwater without spilling over. So we try to keep the water on the property. That is more and more compulsory in Germany. So we have to do that. You have also a sewer inspection uh, car just in front of DWA. This is a combined, uh, separate system. You see the brown one and the blue one, light blue one. This is a separate system where the rainwater goes direct to the river without treatment because this is clean and uh, clean rainwater. And from here, the old part of this city, from starting with the church over here, this is a combined system. You see rainwater and Wastewater is connected, so this is a combined system. This is a separate system. If you build something new, try to stay with a separate system. This is a stormwater retention tank. So you just make a big tank over it and then the spill over, a CSO, a combined stormwater overflow. But we try to keep as much as possible water in the network. In Germany, we are happy, we are lucky guys. We built more than 50,000 tanks like this into the sewer system. I travel a lot around in the world and if you go to other countries you'll hardly find it. I just back from Britain and they just have these in front of the wastewater treatment plant. We have this installed uh, everywhere in the network. Güterschutz Canabo is over here. It's also one of our partners. They check the quality of the construction of in Germany. Güterschutz uh, Canabo. Okay, then we have here uh, one car, uh, city cleaning, uh, a jet, a jet cleaning uh, truck. They're quite expensive. We do a lot of training for these guys. So first of all, you clean uh, the pipeline in a regular way. And then you go with a CC uh, camera inspection inside. And then you see with the camera inside uh, how is the situation of the pipe. We also train all these guys here in Germany. There's a CCTV camera inspector training course for one week based on the European standard, standard 13508. Okay, what else we can see? We can here see that the uh, separate system rainwater goes and uh, uh, wastewater goes you know, here as well. But here you see also car park. The car park is not completely paved, it is uh, green. So the stones are inside, so when it rains, uh, the rain can go into the underground. So we try to keep as much as possible the rain on, on the property. Waste separation in Germany, yellow, green, paper, glass and everything. That's the common things. Here this modern house has a cistern so that keeps the rainwater and it pumps it back to the toilet and to the washing machine. So this is also pretty common. So it's a, what we call the rainwater harvesting. So this kind of facility is also, you, we use that in fact in DWA, when it comes to DWA, we, we collect the rainwater from one roof and we pump it back to the toilet over there. We do that since more than uh, 15 years. Green roofs, very important to keep the water in the city, to keep the water staying over there and then evaporate so it cools down the cities. It's more and more common to that. And also this connection, we try to connect to manholes Instead of connecting in just in between like this one here, that is not so good. It's much better if you connect to the manhole, then it's easier to control and to check further on. What else do we see? Here is a construction site from this from the city. And here on that side, we have an emergency. There's an accident and the oil spills on the, on the roads. The fire brigade is coming. Hopefully nothing happened over there, but the oil and the petrol can go into the sewer system and can create problems over that. So, and also the surface of the road must be cleaned again. I'm a motorcycle driver. I had an accident on an oil uh, spill. So I was in the forest and my motorway crashed. 
so I know how dangerous it is if or when you have oil on the street. And of course, if your oil goes then into a separate system like here, it would go straight into the river. So you have to be careful uh, what to do in case of emergency. Here is if you have a farmhouse, this is a pumping station over here and they pump it then to the central system. Um, so there's also a vacuum drainage system and a, a pumping based drainage system. This is also available in Germany in different cases. Here the rainwater goes direct into the river without uh, going into the uh, sewer system. The sludge from the wastewater treatment plant, we have about 50% of the sludge is still used in agriculture in Germany in 2020, but uh, it is clear that we are going to incinerate the sludge more and more in the next uh, 10 years this will be happen. We will have mono incineration plants where we recover the phosphorus from the ash. When we, are, when we can do that whole of Germany we can have an uh, um, impact of 50% of our phosphor consumption as a fertilizer. We, we can uh, keep it in the circle because the resource of phosphor is ending in 300 years. And also the quality of phosphor which comes from different countries is not the best anymore. So this is the uh, sewer system uh, network combined, separate system, modern things and of course sewer cleaning, sewer inspection and uh, the emergency cases uh, with oil. If you liked it, tell it to other people. If you want to buy it, come to the DWA shop on the website. You can order it. We have four of these posters. If you like it, tell it to other people. Goodbye.